Hi, Bob Freeman here with Marine Max in Naples, Florida. I'm here today to talk to you about Boston Whalers flagship, the 2018 420 Outrage, 60th anniversary edition. Let's start with the, the back of the boat. We're gonna look at the meat and potatoes right here. We've got quad 350 Mercury Verados with joystick piloting. Fantastic set of engines here. Gets this boat up into the uh, to the mid mid to high 40s, uh, you know, getting close to the 50 mile an hour, which is very high speed for a boat of this size. So as we move down further down, we're gonna uh, you're gonna get a better look at the profile, and it is just set up Mac Daddy with everything. So let's uh, let's finish on the outside. The lines are fantastic. And this boat's going to do pretty much anything you want to do. You want to go to the Keys, you want to go to the Bahamas, anywhere you want to go, this boat's going to take you. So why don't we hop on board and take a look at the rest from the inside. Here we are on board the 420 Outrage, and let's start with the back of the boat. I already told you about the engines already, and if you are fishing, set up with a really comfortable leaning post right here. You've got five rod holders in the back, plenty of rod holders for uh, fishing off the back of the boat. If you're not fishing and you're just going out for a ride for the day, actually I'll go right here. We've got the dive door ladder. I'm going to do that before I unfold the seat. This is the ladder that comes over to the dive door right here. And this, is, this does a couple of things. As far as swimming, it's fantastic. As far as getting in and out of the, um, in and out of the boat, it's got a fixed ladder. So and it just hooks into these two holes, slides right in. Drop it down, and then when you're coming back in, you just lift this up, and then you've got a real nice handle to grab onto instead of trying to grab onto the sides of the boat and slipping possibly. You've got a nice solid rail to help you get inside the boat. Then if you are fishing, this is a fantastic way of getting the fish on board quickly and safely. As soon as you take them out of the water, you can slide them right across. I open the, I open the live well on the, on the starboard side, and I just slide him right in with the hook in him and everything else. And once he's inside, take the hook out. Doesn't make as much of a mess on, on, uh, on the deck of the boat. So it's a really fantastic way of getting a, a fish on board versus taking him over the gunnel, where a lot of times, just as you're getting him over the top of the gunnel, that's when you lose him. So much better chance of uh, getting the fish on board here. So as we swing around to this side, you've got a really, really beautiful country kitchen right here. It's set up with two refrigerators. You got one port and one on starboard side. Plenty of drawers in here. So pretty much everything you're going to need. Sink, drink holders, paper towels, things for hooking, it's just knives, cutting up the fish right here. You got a cutting board. Fantastic Kenyan grill right here. It's uh, it does, does it's a perfect grill. It's very little smoke because the, uh, the grates are not exposed. So little water in the bottom of the pan extinguishes any smoke that there may be so it's very very little smoke when you're using the uh, using the grill now if you're going for a ride I'm gonna close this up and swing around over here I'm gonna take the bottom right here I'm gonna swing this up and now we have an incredibly comfortable full person seat Foot rest down below, so a place to keep your feet right here instead of them dangling because it is higher. But four adults, very comfortable here. What a fantastic combination between the country kitchen and the seating. Then you've got the uh, the seat in the back. If you are going for a ride, we'll go back to where the dive door ladder is right here. I just lift this up, just uh, unhook it on this side here, and all you do is pull. Again, another very large seat. So I could put four, sometimes five adults, very comfortable on this seat. So if you're going out for a ride or to the beach or dinner or sunset, whatever it may be, four, very comfortable here. Four more, very comfortable here. So that's eight just sitting right here. And this, this bench is under the hard top, so you are protected from the weather, which is great. They do have their own. Uh, air conditioning vent so each person would actually have their own air conditioning vent uh, facing towards them giving them each a, enough fresh air to keep them cool especially in the summer months and as we move around to the helm three captain's chairs all three of them are uh, uh, top of the line captain's chairs so all three people sitting up here 
couldn't be more comfortable. They're adjustable. Uh, you can go higher, lower. Um, just, just a really nice combination of three seats. We have a footrest for this person over here. And then we have this piece that, that folds down. And this is a step to give you a little bit more height. And with the extra height, uh, especially with someone that my, my, my height is I can get up over, I can, visibility is fantastic in this boat. I've got the large windshield, one piece windshield there with a nice big vent window which opens up for fresh air, two big side windows, uh, visibility is fantastic. A couple of AC vents here for the helm area and then three large touchscreen Raymarines. Going to do anything you want. I've got to set up with the chart plot of the fish fond finder, and then the the, the electron, the uh, engine, all your fuel, everything else, batteries. But this does. This has everything in it. So I can split the screens. I can. I, I've got every combination that you could you could need. Um, then down below, we've got the smart craft. This is a computer. This is going to this is going to show you all of your temperatures and pressures and everything. Your fuel burns. How much fuel you have left. How much further you can go and the amount of fuel you have at this speed it's just a it's a computer that has every piece of information you're going to want to know on that remote control stereo you've got the auto trim so it'll automatically be leveling the boat out as you uh, as you go digital throttle and shift the advantage of this is if once I pull out of the slip I hit the one lever. I actually put this down to get it out of my way, so I remember I'm in one lever. And I just use the one lever. This lever is in charge. It controls all four engines exactly the same. So you won't have any fluctuation in the RPMs. The four engines will always be running exactly the same, which is much better for the captain, not trying to adjust the RPMs. And it's also better for the engines as well, less wear and tear. Then the joystick is fantastic. If you want to, if you're coming into a, a situation with the docking and it's a side tie, all I'm doing is I'm, I come up, I line it up, I just hit it like this. Depending on if I get a lot of wind, I just push it a little bit more and it goes directly sideways in and you've got full control left, right. It'll do it. it you got full control of the boat with the, uh, with the joystick. A couple other features that it does have, it's got autopilot. So this is a point and shoot autopilot. Um, you'll see the little, uh, you'll see the line on the GPS right here. And that line will go out as far as as far as I, when I expand out. If I wanted to go to Key West, I would line it up to the outside marker, and just hit that auto button, and it's going to take me directly there. And I'm going to get there about 20 to 30 minutes faster and burning less fuel because I'm going in an exact straight line. So really nice feature. And lastly, the sky hook is a really really nice feature, uh, feature that I use a lot. If I'm pulling into a marina and I'm, I'm getting a slip assignment, I get a port side tie, and uh, I just hit the sky hook. It'll keep me locked into one, one specific place with about a 10 foot fluctuation on that. And then I can go out and take my time, put my lines out, put my fenders out. And uh, when I'm all done, take the sky hook off and then pull it in sideways into the slip and ver vice versa. When I'm coming out, it's just as easy coming out. So the joystick, auto heading, sky hook, just three super, super features for, the, uh, for this boat. Then we've got storage up above. Uh -oh good size storage here and then you also have the gyro so this system here is set up and we, they call it sea keeper and it takes about 90 percent of the sideways fluctuation so a lot of most of the time people just when they go in the bows going up and down that really doesn't bother them it's the sideways roll that the that most people don't like so what that does is it keeps it starts to go about 10% and it stops it and brings it back and if it goes the other way it's another 10 but it's also it's just a 10% either way and it's just you, you have to you have to be on the boat to see how well it actually works let's move down into the cabin okay really large cabin you can set it set up for um, for entertaining so this has got a generator so it's got air conditioning down here so it's got a nice couch set up you can put 10 people comfortably on this couch you've got a table that flips up over so it's uh, it's a good size table for everybody that's that's sitting in the in this area here and then it will also drop down and the back cushion will come out oh, right on the behind the pillows right there and you'll you'll lie with your feet facing that way and you can put two three people 
very comfortably sleeping and you can put a fourth up here. So you can actually put four people very comfortably sleeping. Got the hardwood floors. And then you've got a little galley. So uh, you've got another fridge down here. So this is your third fridge. Sink, very large sink here in here. Trash, trash barrel in here. Microwave, flat screen TV. Got a big skylight right here. So this will actually open all the way up and give you a ton of daylight down here. So nice, nice feature because a lot of times coming down, people don't like coming down in the cabins below because it's dark and they can't see out. So with this, with this uh, skylight here, it gives you a ton of light in here. And I know I like it a lot better. So uh, lastly down here, we've got the head. Very large size head, electronic, electronic head. So uh, uh, works very, very well. You've got the shower with the rain head up above. Uh, which is kind of a unique feature up here for uh, for uh, these type of showers. A lot of times you may get a handheld, but this is a rain head, is what they call it, and uh, just a nice feature to uh, to top off a really nice head. Okay, let's move up. We've got a couple of jump seats. One on port, we have a, an identical one on the starboard side over there. So we've got two extra seats. They're actually really good seats because you can sit here like this and now I'm joining the captain, or they're joining me. And so now instead of the three seats, I got five across here. So you've got four to five in the back, another four, and then five here. So you've got comfortably sitting in the back of the boat, enough, plenty, plenty of people to join, you know, be in this particular area. If it's not enough area and you need the front, let's go up and take a look. Got a high-end sound system. This boat rocks. Uh, it's gonna give you more than enough sound to do whatever you wanna do. Good setup, you've got the recessed cleats throughout the boat. When you're using them, they're great, but when you're not, they're out of the way, nothing gets caught on them. So, great feature on the bow. You've got, um, the sun pad, three adults, extremely comfortable. I've had four, sometimes five up here. Uh, it's a very large size. You've got this set up here for, you can ice this down and keep all kinds of beverages cold uh, and up on the bow of the boat versus having to go to the back of the boat. So the people that sit up the front, plenty of places to keep their drinks cold. And then here, what you do, now it's a seat. So you can comfortably sit here. This is set up as a sun pad right now, but if, uh, if I want to use it as a sitting area for people just hanging out, I could take the sun pad off. I've got a teak table, a real solid teak table, and then I've got a remote control, which is underneath the stereo. Also a place to charge your phone if you need it and your music. And that will make this table automatically come all the way up to a, to a cocktail table size. So now, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sometimes eight people comfortably sitting around the table. Okay, I've got a, we've got a couple more rod holders. So there's two up here. There's rod holders throughout the whole boat, more cleats, and then we have the recessed windlass. So it's out of the way which is good, can be remotely controlled here and also at the helm if you want. And the good part about this, if you're fishing off the bow, the windlass is out of the way and now you've got a really large, trip-free, uh, non-skid area to fish off the bow. So you've got, uh, you've got a large gunnel, you can walk around up here, plenty of room to do that as well. And then we also have, lastly, I just move a little forward here, but storage all underneath the feet here, more storage underneath that seat. So the storage throughout this entire front of the boat. So everything you're going to need up here, you have. And lastly, we've got electronics on. You've got a spotlight. You've got the open array, uh, Raymarine HD color, which is a which is a high end, top quality radar. And we also have a flare, which is a night vision, which is a really nice feature if you do get caught. And you're coming in the dark, it picks up birds in the water, it picks up 
crab pots, it picks up, you name it, it picks it up. So it's a very extra safety feature that's nice to have. So, so there you have it. Um, 42 Outrage, it's the, one of the hottest boats we have here. It's a perfect boat, especially for around here. We can go offshore, no problem. We can take it down to the Keys. We can take it down to the Bahamas. It's just, it's just fantastic. It does everything well. So if you have any questions on the boat, my name is Bob Freeman. My number is 603-213-1194.